You clicked on this video for one reason and one reason only, and that is to learn how to farm a warden in the early game in all the mods 9, right? But what if I told you that by using this method I'm about to show you, you will also be able to farm other bosses too, like the Dead King from Iron Spells and Spellbooks mod, and farm all of their drops? Well, that would be pretty insane, right? Yes. Yes, that would be pretty insane. What's going on YouTube? I'm Papa Oxy, and I'm here to learn you some modded Minecraft. So let's get right into it. All right, let's break this down into three simple steps. Firstly, we're gonna have to find ourselves some mob spawners. Not broken ones, no, 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 no. We need to find some fully functional semi-vanilla mob spawners. Now, if you guys have played any All The Mods 9, we would know that these mob spawners are pretty easy to find. They are everywhere. Now, once we do find some, we want to collect the ones we don't really care about, like let's say some spider spawners. Now, once we've located a spawner, we can use silk touch or even better, some cardboard boxes for mechanism to collect the spawners. One will do for now, but we can always collect more to increase production. All right, step one was pretty easy, right? Well, I have some good news for you. It only keeps getting easier, sort of. Once we have collected our spawner, we need to start getting liquid EXP from it. We can do so by killing spiders with a mob masher and collecting the experience into an absorption hopper and pumping it into a singularity tank. All of these items can be found using the mob grinding utilities mod. From here, we will want to create a swab. These are super easy to make and shouldn't take long at all, requiring only one stick and two wool. This item is very important as it will allow us to collect the DNA from our warden or whatever mob you would like to farm. Now, once we have our swab, we need to find an ancient city or a deep dark cave with skulk sensors. Once we have located our ancient city, we must now summon a warden, which should be pretty easy if you're anything like me. Hey, how's it going? Now, wardens aren't exactly the nicest of creatures. Once we get the warden to spawn, we are going to want to get to him before he fully emerges from the ground. And once you do, you will take your swab and collect some of his DNA. Don't ask me how. Boom, mission is a success. All right, now that we are back home, we need to craft some chicken feed using our cotton swab we sampled from the warden and some liquid EXP. Now, at this point, we should have plenty of liquid EXP saved up from our spawner that we left going while we went to find our warden. All we need to do is left click on the singularity tank and it will give us a bucket of that sweet, sweet green stuff. Once we have it, we can combine it in our crafting grid with the swab and some seeds and boom, chicken feed. Once we've done that, it's time for step two and a half. <laughs> So once we have our chicken feed, we need to feed it to a single chicken. And through the process of consuming the awesome might and supreme strength of the warden, the chicken will explode into a fiery ball of... Confetti? Yes, confetti. And once it does, we will have our final item for our farm. A warden spawn egg. Okay, final step. From here, we need to create a safe area to spawn our wardens, because let me tell you, there will be a lot of them. For this example, we will be using our mob farm which we have built in our survival SMP server. Now, all we have to do is place down our mob spawner that we collected earlier and simply right click the warden egg into the spawner. And just like that, we have created a mob spawner for wardens, allowing us to collect their beautiful, beautiful loot. Okay, now that we have a fully functional warden spawner, let's go over some tips that will help you out tremendously. Inside this chest here, I have some items that you will definitely want. Firstly, we have our golden apple. This will allow you to completely disable the AI of the warden or any type of mod that you are trying to spawn. Secondly, a redstone comparator will allow you to turn on and off the mob spawner at will using a redstone signal. And lastly, we have some wool, which will completely disable any sounds any mob will make after they have spawned. To add these upgrades, simply right click them onto the spawner itself and that is all you have to do. Now if you would like to add some extra upgrades, you can look in the JEI and come to spawner modifications and as you can see there are tons more of different upgrades you can add yourself. Now here on the bottom left we have a twilight cloak which makes you completely invisible in the darkness. Basically allowing you to hit wardens with your sword with no retaliation. Alright guys, that's the end of this tutorial, and if you guys would like to see more, it would mean a ton for you to subscribe and let me know down in the comments what you would like to see next.